Now, he's just 23 years old, but Formula One driver Lando Norris has already overtaken veterans of the sport and is racing towards the number one spot on the podium. And as an adopted member of the This Morning family, we are, of course, very proud of him. And pleased to say he's joining us now from the McLaren Technology Centre ahead of the new season. Oh. Morning, Lando. Hello, hello. Good morning. Hey, good, good morning. Us, Lando. Um, has it been a good year? Say again, sorry. Has it, <laughs> has it been a good year in the F1 for you? How good's your year been? I mean, I bet you can't believe your success. Um, yes, it's tough. It's, it's hard to say what like a pure success is because um, as a driver, I want to win. And that's obviously not something I, I've done yet in Formula One. Um, but you have to take one year at a time and kind of understand what success is uh, in every single race. So it was a good year last year. Um, but I'm more excited for this year, so um, I'm excited for, for the one to come. So, Lada, tell us about this year. What, when do you start training and when, you, when do you start to, to get your hands on the new car? Have you driven it yet? Or you know, how does, how does your, your training for the season work? Uh, so we fly, I fly next, or oh, this Sunday, coming to Bahrain, uh, where we have our first test. And normally we have at least six days of testing, but this year we only have three. So, uh, and this is split between two drivers. So one and a half days for me, one and a half days for Oscar. Um, so not a lot, not a lot of time to get back into things, back into the hang of driving a Formula One car. Uh, but then the fourth and fifth of March is the first race already. So not long to go at all, um, but Bahrain's the first time I get to drive this year's car and, and see what it's made of. Uh, not too many road changes. So it's just an evolution of last year, but um, yeah, excited to see what it can do. Um, now, the next season of F1 starts in March. What can fans expect? Mm, um, I mean, hopefully closer racing than, than uh, we had last year. Always when there's a new rule change like we had, uh, it takes a little bit of time for every team to kind of get back into it and understand the cars as well as what we will have this season. So um, hopefully we're a bit closer to the front. Uh, hopefully everyone is closer to each other, which will make the racing closer, make it better, uh, more exciting for everyone to watch. Um, and you might see a, a shake-up of different teams in different positions, hopefully us a little bit further up, um, us racing different cars and so forth. So, uh, yeah, closer, seasons, a cl closer season, more exciting, more racing, um, and I look forward to that too. And another big year, 60th year of McLaren. Uh, how will you be celebrating? <laughs> Uh, good question. I think there's going to be some things throughout the season, um, both that I will do maybe with a, a special helmet that I run at a couple of races, uh, but also things that the team does. So the team are doing quite a bit to celebrate the 60th. Um, we have a couple of the stickers on the car, but I think more importantly, we have some liveries that are going to be on the IndyCar over in America for the Indy 500. Um, and there's also a couple potential special ones that we're going to have through the year. I don't know how much I'm allowed to say from it. Ooh. But, um, yes, a couple of things to, to celebrate. And, Lando, what's it like driving for McLaren? Because they're kind of one of the heritage teams in Formula One. I think anyone that's got a passing interest has always got a soft spot for the likes of McLaren and Williams. And this is the 60th anniversary this year. Are you sort of aware of, of that legacy when you, when you drive for them? Uh, I would say so. I mean, I'm here in MTC, so behind me we have all of the cars from, uh, well, Bruce McLaren's car from like 19, I should know it, 1963 <laughs> or something. Um, oh, it is 60, 60 years, so yeah, 1963 um, to, to today's. So I, we see the history, we see every car from every season, um, the likes of, of Prost, Hakkinen, Senna, Hamilton, um, all that have, have come along through, uh, through McLaren. So it's lovely to be part of it. Um, more importantly, it's, it's a pleasure to be part of the journey from where we were a few years ago to hopefully bringing back uh, McLaren to the top, because uh, that's where they deserve to be. And what about um, uh, travelling uh, around the world? Do you, like, do you, what, are the, what are the different circuits like for you? Do you sort of look forward to one in particular, or do you go, I know, I know that circuit so well, or you know, do some kind of hold kind of more trepidation for you than others? Um, you get a little bit of everything. You get ones which uh, are easier, some which are harder, some which I'm more comfortable with driving and, and some not so much. Uh, Silverstone. Silverstone is obviously our home, my home Grand Prix, um, the one with all the fans, all the British fans. So that's the one I look forward to the most every single year, seeing the crowds, uh, seeing all the British, uh, British people come in in large quantities. So I, I look forward to that. But this year we also have Vegas, so looking forward to going back to. I mean, all the all the American races are pretty special, 
uh, chaos. A lot of people um, obviously get a lot of stars and celebrities coming to these races too, but Vegas is the, the, the newest one on the calendar. Uh, it's in Vegas, which says enough, but it's also a, a new track, which I've never driven before. So I look forward to, to going there and experiencing Vegas for my very first time. Yeah, exciting. <laughs> and when you make it to the podium, will you be spraying that big bottle of champagne that we always see? Yes, I heard you have one in the in the studio oh, today, actually. So, uh, I mean, it's heavy, but I can handle it, Lando. Don't worry. So this is what we've got well, here. You, is, should, you know, give it give it, a little practice. It's a little. Well, it's a Jeroboam, is the size of the bottle, uh, and this is a Ferrari Trento Brut, which is the official Fizz of Formula One. It's not actually champagne; it's an Italian sparkling uh -huh. wine as well. So, but you have a very unique way of celebrating with you, don't you? <laughs> uh, I do. I do. Um, I tend to, or you can get away with it with these bottles, but not with certain other bottles. So, um, yes, my way of, of celebrating is normally by smashing it against the podium yeah. uh, or on the floor, whatever it is, and then the sparkling wine, champagne, uh, spraying out everywhere. So it can go very wrong. So I would advise you uh, to do it with caution or not do it at all. Um, but these bottles, are they're strong and safe. If you do it with maybe like a Prosecco bottle or something, um, they can smash in, you can cut your hand and it doesn't end too well. So yeah, I'd like to see how you do on a Jager bomb. I can see that really technique there. <laughs> <laughs> 380 no, pound bottle. I won't do it. <laughs> Lovely stuff. And what's it like to, um, to, to have Netflix on the cards? Because obviously, what, I've been to a couple of Formula Ones and what amazes me is the access to the drivers. Uh, you guys are very good about giving your time to film crews when I was so surprised because I thought you'd, so, yep. you'd be so in the zone, but actually, you know, on the track and so forth, uh, you know, you're so good with the broadcasters, and now you've got Netflix doing uh, Drive to Survive, which I think has brought it to a whole new audience. Is it, is it kind of fun having them documenting the whole thing? Uh, it, it is. They do a very, a very, very good job, actually, of being there, seeing everything, even when you don't really realise, um, but not getting in your way. I think that's something that they're, they're there to do, and they know it at the same time. Um, they're not there to get in our way and to be a, a nuisance, you know. They want all the best content and stuff that you guys don't get to see from standard TV. Um, so they, they want to be a fly on the wall, you know. They want to be there without us ever knowing uh, in case we say something that we shouldn't and, and they can capture it, you know. So it's, um, it's good. It's only done a good thing, I think, for our sport, for us as drivers. Um, but it, it shows you know, that we're normal people. We're normal people that can enjoy life and do different things and we have good laughs and... Uh, and so on, but we can also flip to the other side. We can put the helmets on, be in the zone, get serious, and uh, go out and race Formula One cars like we've got to do. So um, I think it's a good thing. It's, it's only helped Formula One, like I said. Um, the new season's out very shortly, so uh, I, hope you, I hope you all enjoy it. Oh, Thanks Lando, luck, we love you here this morning. Thank you, and congratulations on all your success. Good luck. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Thank you. What a nice guy. He's lovely. Such a good sport as He's well. So Always gives lovely. us so much time on this morning, doesn't he? Uh, and the new season of Drive to Survive is out on Netflix from next Friday, 24th of February.